Wickety wickety whack, it's your boy Mac coming at you with another great tutorial from me to you because that's just what I do. And today we're working in Photoshop again with the Wacom tablet. I'm not sure that this has been done in the tutorial, but from now on, for the rest of this tutorial, everything will be done with the tablet. So I'm just teaching you a quick little thing because there's certain things you can do in Photoshop that are more intuitive with the tablet. So the first thing we're going to do, and I'm not a pro with operating the tab, I'm still a little bit of an amateur, so forgive me with my speed with it. But what we're going to do first is open up a new thing. Once again, it's with the tablet. So we got a blank thing. Uh, you can go up to Window, Arrange. I prefer it vertical. Oops. I prefer it vertical. You can do it horizontal if you want. Well, I'm just going to teach you a quick thing. If you have the color dynamics thing selected on this side, uh, this side thing right here, what you can do is put your cursor over a color that you want. So it's red. Hold down Alt on the keyboard, click it, then come over, and it'll draw the color. So say you wanted a blue, go to the background, boom, that. And there's also stuff with spacing with the line. So say you wanted a more spaced out line. As you can see in the preview, it'll end up being like so. So if you wanted to draw a human, you get his skin color, get that selected. Actually, you want the spacing down for this. So here's the head. Say you wanted him to have chicken pox, you can use the features. Click or add. Go to spacing. Put it all the way up. There we go. This is how to use the Wacom tablet. 